Hey beautiful, welcome back to Juliet Kitchen. I'm Yasmin. Today you're in for an incredible treat, this beautiful, super delicious, healthy salad. It's pan fried chicken, arugula, some tomatoes, uh, what else do I have in here? Some mangoes, some oranges, and an incredibly delicious vinaigrette. You really going to love it? Mm. This recipe, magnificent, superb, it's perfect. Let's get started. Before we get started, please be kind and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, your likes to this video is very much appreciated. Thank you. Two pounds of chicken tenders. I'm going to start by uh, seasoning my chicken. You want to make sure the chicken is nice and dry. This extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle one, two tablespoons. Salt. I'm using kosher salt. One. One to one and a half teaspoon, depending on your dietary needs. My puccini powder that I made earlier today, I'll leave the recipe in the uh, description box. One tablespoon. Mix. You could use gloves if you want. Mix it well. I'm gonna set this aside for 15 minutes. While the chicken is resting, I'm making a simple vinaigrette, just enough for the salad today. I like to put a little bit of fresh thyme leaves. These are three small strands. One clove of garlic. If you don't like garlic, you could leave it out. I'm just gonna grate it in the bowl. I love shallot in my vinaigrette. I'm just going to use about one tablespoon maybe. I wanna finely mince this. I prefer to use the shallot in this recipe. It has a milder taste than onion, but you could also substitute a red onion. One tablespoon of it, that is. Add the minced shallot right into the bowl with the garlic. I'm using champagne vinegar. One tablespoon. Passion fruit vinegar. One tablespoon. Pinch of salt, nice pinch of my puccini spice mix. Give that a little mix. I'm gonna drizzle in some avocado oil. Two to three tablespoons work. Vinaigrette is easily convertible to a larger batch. Check the description box. Looks good to me. Look at that. Let's taste. Oh my gosh, wow, perfect. Now what I wanna do is prep my remaining ingredients. One carrot. I'm using an organic carrot, but I still like to peel it. Many people do not peel the carrot. Yes, that's a thing. I actually want to shred the carrots. I like to shred the carrots instead of dicing or chopping because it produces a juicy texture. I'm gonna add this into my bowl. Onion, this is very large or extra large. I'm going to use just a little piece. That's it, small piece of red onion. I love to use red onion in my salads and thinly slice them. They're much sweeter and if you don't like onions, you can just leave it out. Mango. This is a very large mango. I'm only going to use a piece. This is on the greener side. We use two slices. I find that the half ripened mangoes work best in this recipe. One orange. This method of cutting an orange is called Supreme. It's basically removing the skin from the orange. Once the orange is peeled, 
It's very easy to see and remove the segments, leaving the unwanted membranes behind. It's so much easier to eat. Squeeze the juices in here. My hands are all washed, and now I want to do the last thing, which is add tomatoes. These are baby tomatoes. They're pretty small. If they're larger, you could cut them. I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt. Mix. Mmm, it smells good if you could smell the goodness of a salad. Wow. When it sits, it's gonna marinate and taste even better. So now what I wanna do is go cook the chicken. My cast iron pan is uh, heated. You can see the smoke coming out. And I want to add avocado oil because it has a high smoke point, but you could use any neutral oil that has a high smoke point. Add enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Add the chicken. That's what you want to hear, that nice sizzling sound. You want to make sure you don't overflow the pan. I'm going to do this in two batches. These are looking nice and opaque in the end. Flip. It's a very thin piece. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Turn them as they brown. You can move them to the ends if they're not browning fast enough. This little piece is ready. Ready. Remove the chicken tenders as they get golden brown. They typically cook three to four minutes per side, depending on the thickness. I'm gonna finish cooking the rest of them. You'll know that the chicken tenders are fully cooked when the juices run clear after resting them in a bowl for about five minutes. Okay, now what I wanna do, the chicken has rested. You could see all those beautiful juices. There's no blood in there, means it's nicely cooked. And I just want to chop this up. They're so tender. See that? It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, the color is gorgeous. They're still very, very soft. Look at that. I add this into the bowl with the veggies. Mix this together. If you could smell how good a sm salad smell, you'll be eating it every day. Gorgeous, look at all this gorgeous color. What I like to do is add the arugula to the bottom of the bowl. You can mix it in, but I don't like when it gets soggy. Put a little bit of salt, that's it. And I'm gonna spoon my beautiful veggie and chicken on. There you have it, a gorgeous bowl of very healthy salad with chicken. It's my favorite time, tasting, eating. Start with this beautiful umami chicken. Mm. Wow. That puccini uh, spice mix, incredibly delicious. I love arugula. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. That nice little mustardy taste from the arugula, incredible. Everything in here goes perfectly. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. This is a must try. It's perfect. I do hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, Happy cooking! Subscribe to our food blog to get notification whenever we post a new recipe and follow us on Instagram.